for this question, okay, for the first one, we are supposed to solve uh, log 3x equals to negative 2. So here, what we are doing is that we can basically change it into the index form. But that will allow us to uh, solve for x quite easily. So one of the strategies I remember that if we so-called, uh, just let me hold on, uh, let me get the equation out that you saw in the notes. Right, so in the notes, we, we know that if you want to change to index form, right, the idea is that if uh, y is equals to a to the power of x, right, this is in the index form. This is the index form, right? This is basically telling us that if you were to change it to the logarithmic form or the log form as an abbreviation, right, this means that uh, log a y is equals to x. Also, we can use this quite easily to help us. The, it means that you know the base of the index is also the base of the logarithm, and we read this as log base a of y is equals to x. So for a, yeah, so let's look at a itself. How do we go about uh, doing a? So for a, I mean, you can see that uh, quite easily, right? If I were to just log 3x equals to negative 2, now if I were to bring my base 3 over, right, to change it back into the index next form. This will give me x equals to 3 to the power of negative 2. And with that, now straight away, you are able to obtain your answer. You already have made x a subject. Now, solving the equation is just basically making x a subject. Okay, so with that, uh, your x is just equals to uh, 1 over 9. Okay? So for b, uh, we are looking at log x, 6x minus 5 equals to 2. Now, I think this question... Uh, based on my humble answer, most of you should have no issue with it in the uh, lesson as well. Okay, so let's give me a sec. Uh. Okay, so basically, if I were to change it into the index form as well, if I were to change it into the index form as well, right, I can basically bring my x over to the right-hand side, right, and change it to the index form. This gives me 6x minus 5 equals to x squared, all right? So with that, this becomes a, uh, I mean, not only an index form, but it's also a very familiar and friendly quadratic equation, right? Simplifying this uh, equals to zero, right? Just factorizing it, x minus five, x minus one equals to zero, which is, uh, I mean, just simplifying and factorizing a quadratic equation. In order for you to solve this equation, you have uh, x equals to one, or x equals to 5. Okay, so just like search, uh, when, when we look at uh, this kind of equation, we need to see, I mean, do we really uh, accept both answers? Okay, now we remember that the idea of definition, the definition of the, the logarithmic function, right? If we have log a, x, right? This x over here has to be positive, remember? And this a over here has to be positive and it cannot be equals to 1, right? If you're not sure about this, why? Just to go and read, uh, watch all my earlier videos, okay? Can I? So a and x, a cannot be 0, uh, cannot, must be more than 0, and it cannot be equal to 1. And your x has to be positive. And remember I told you that this is a very uh, common ground for you to check on answers, the validity of the answers, and to give you a reason to reject uh, certain answers. So if you look at, uh, B, right? Do make sure that when you check your answer, one, if you realize, right, one will violate the portion because one is a, X is a base. And here, by the fact that X is a base, X cannot be one. Okay? So, yep. So, we reject. And the reason that we write is basically X cannot be equal to one. Okay? Okay? Now, uh, so with that, uh, X equals to five it will be accepted. Okay? So unlike search, you don't have to suck, but you have to have to pay special attention to the logarithmic equation. So let's look at C next. Okay, we have 1 plus log 4. Sorry, 2 log 4, 2x equals to uh, log 4 of 2x plus 5. Now, one of the uh, methods that I told you earlier was that when we solve logarithmic function, just like how we solve search, all right, we try to pack until we have one set equals to one set, you can square both sides. So log and indices also the same. We try to pack. We pack until we have log equals to log, 
and we can solve the log. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, the idea I'm trying to use here is that if I can pack the cert to a sense where I have log four of an expression equals to log four of, uh, in this case, it could be two x plus five. Well, this allows me to cancel off the log, okay? And I can straight away equate and I get a, it could be a linear, it could be a quadratic, but basically it's an algebraic equation, all right? So it's very, very easy for me to solve without the log being there. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to pack and to, for me to pack, I have to first take away all the, I mean, the useless coefficients and all the, the constants, lah, okay? So for me to pack one in to the log, I have to convert one to a log as well. So I'm going to change my one on purpose to log four four. Okay, because we know that uh, log AA is equals to one. So I changed one to log four four. Okay. And I'm going to bring my uh, coefficient up as well because if my coefficient is there, I cannot apply any loss of logarithm. Right? If my coefficient is there, I cannot apply any loss of logarithm. So, so from there, uh, what I do is uh, I bring up my log. I bring up my 2, sorry. This is log 4, 2x to the power of 2. And on the right-hand side, it will still be log 4, uh, 2x plus 5. Okay? Now, combining, uh, using the product law of logarithms, now you see I have log of one term, log of another term. This basically can give me log 4 of 4, Multiply now this is 4x squared. Huh? Okay, so 4 multiplied by 4x squared. Okay, equals to log 4 2x plus 5. Okay, so there you go. You see that I've achieved the portion where I am in the state where I've uh, two log equations equate to each other, no coefficients, right? So no worries at all, right? So from here, if log a m equals to log a n m will be equal to n. So, so that's why I can actually straight away you know, cancel off the log. Yeah, so I can cancel off the log. And 4 times 4 is 16. I can straight away remove the log on both sides. And I have 16x squared equals to 2x plus 5. Okay? I'll leave it to you to solve the rest. Uh, because I mean, solving quadratic equation, it should be your forte. Huh? And I have x equals to 5 over 8. You should get x equals to 5 over 8. Or x equals to negative half, which again, you must recall like in part B, check the validity of your answers. Do they violate anything? Now, if x is equal to minus half, it will violate the fact that, you know, here, where log base 4 of 2x says that 2x has to be positive. All right. So because it has to be positive, the you have to reject x equals to negative half. You have to reject x equals to negative half. And, and because x if it's negative, it's not going to fit into, it's going to be well-defined in this logarithmic function here. So we reject because uh, 2x has to be positive. All right? Okay. So this is for part C. Next, I will go on to part D. Okay, I'll just write it at the side here. Again, uh, the idea is that uh, we always check if the bases are the same. All right, if the bases are the same, we try to remove all the coefficients either by doing power law, just to bring the coefficient up and pack the coefficients together. So you can see that first, uh, I'm aware that there's a two here. I'm going to bring it up by using the power law because if we are going to use the laws of logarithm, it has to be same base. It also have, cannot have any coefficients. No coefficients at same base before we can pack. So log B, 10, they have the same base, so all is good. I'm going to write this as log b 10 to the power of 2 minus uh, log b, log base b, 4 equals to 2. Now, using the quotient law of logarithms, if I have the difference of two logarithms with the same base, right? Okay, same coefficient, I can combine them to have log base b of uh, in 10 squared is 100 over 4 equals to 2. Now, 100 over 4 is just a very nice number, which is 25 equals to 2. Changing this to the index form, I have 25 equals to e square. Your b is basically equal to positive 5 or negative 5. Again, negative 5 will violate the fact that b is a base and therefore it has to be positive. All right, so we reject because b has to be 
positive. Okay, so habitually you should review your solutions all the time. Wherever you do logs, wherever you do search, wherever you do indices, you should always review your solution such that you are not, uh, you know, in the case where you have more than what is needed. Okay, thank you.